Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy to Learn for Django Tutorials. Today, I will show you how to create an app inside a Django project and display a basic web page. If you are a new Django developer, this tutorial is perfect for you. Before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Understanding the Django apps. Django projects are made up of multiple apps. Each app is like a small module that handles a specific part of your website like authentication, blog or user profiles. If you want to create a complete Django app, you need to follow the following steps. The first we need to create a project. Under this you need to create a new app. Within that app you need to create the view followed by you need to configure the URL on the app level or project level URLs so you need to configure and finally you need to run the application and test it. Let's create a new app inside your Django project. Open your terminal. Now I'm going to stop the previous server by using control C. See that you have to make sure your current working directory is where you already created your project. Your project is my project which is created in the last video. Now run this command to create a new app named my app python followed by manage.py start app is the command followed by what is your app name my app this creates a new folder called my app with several files inside now let us understand each and every individual files within the my app inside my app you find these important files models.py which defines the database structure tables views.py which handles what users sees as the logic for the web pages and the next we have admin.py restores the models in django's admin panel and next followed by apps.py django's internal app configuration we are going to use django's internal app configuration the next we have migrations which stores the database migration files now creation of project is completed under the project creation of app is completed next step is you need to create the view before using the app we must tell the django about it so open my project in that we have settings this is your project now I'm close this my app this is the project where you have settings.py here you need to mention your app name what is the app name my app what are the app you have created i just specify your app here in the installed apps and save the file by pressing ctrl s now let's create a basic web page inside our app so open my app go to the views.py and write this following code we can create the views in two ways one is function based and other one is class based in this example we will see the function based now we need to import from django.http import http response now I'm going to write the function definition the function name is display of request then I'm going to return http response of double quotes I'll write the header tag h1 I'll close this h1 tag welcome to my Django app this function returns a simple HTML heading when accessed so every view should take a request and send a response back. Django will take the incoming HTTP request. Whatever the browser sends when the user clicks on the button or clicks on the link, that incoming request will be wrapped inside an object and that object will be handed over to the method inside our view. And within this function, we need to return the HTTP response within brackets, whatever you return, within this response it will go back to the browser so you have successfully created a function based view 
Next, we'll configure URL for this view so that we can run our application and see this in action. Next, open urls.py, which is at my project and modify it like this. Here we have predefined packages from django.urls followed import path. Using this path, we are defined path of admin URL and I'm going to import views by using from my app import views. Here I'm going to specify the path, path of my URL should be like hello. Any name you can mention, my URL name I'm going to mention as a hello forward slash close the single quotes comma. What is your function? In the views, we have the function name called display. Previously, we have mentioned the views here. Your function name is display. So I'm going to call that function here. Now, whenever we visit the HTTP, the URL path 127.0.0.1 with the port 8000, Django will check this URLs.py for routing. Now let's start Django development server. I'm going to use the default port python manage.py run server. Yeah, here is the output you can see. See here it displays page not found, but here your actual URL path is slash hello. You just specify the hello path. Yes, here is the output. Welcome to my Django app. Congrats, you have successfully created a Django app and displayed your first web page. That's it folks, you have learned how to create a Django app, set up views and connect URLs. If you found this helpful, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next video. Happy coding.